ScaleGrid provides multiple options to handle the backup and restore of your Postgres cluster. On your cluster details page, click on the backup and restore icon to view all the different options. The first option we're going to talk about is backup. ScaleGrid provides essentially two types of backups, on-demand and scheduled backups. On-demand backups are typically associated with an application event. For example, if you're releasing a new version of your app and would like to take a backup of your cluster before you release. Let's enter a name for this backup, and you can also enter an optional comment. ScaleGrid implements backups using disk snapshots. On AWS, we use EBS snapshots, and on Azure, we use Azure snapshots. Scheduled backups allow you to set up reoccurring backups for your Postgres cluster. By default, this is enabled for all the clusters that are created. All clusters are set to backup once per day with seven backups retained. You can customize your schedule to backup anywhere from once every four hours to once per week, as well as the number of backups you wish to retain. Once your backups are configured, Restore is a one-click operation. Simply click Restore from the Backup drop-down menu, select your backup, and click to Restore. Our system then handles all the work necessary to swap out the disks, ensure the primary standby configuration is right, and the system comes back to running. The next operation we're going to talk about is Peak at Backup, which is a selective restore operation. This is useful when you want to access particular data in your backup, but do not necessarily want to restore your entire backup. For example, say you dropped a table or deleted a bunch of rows by mistake. What you want to do is go back to your latest backup and recover this data, but not necessarily restore this data to your production cluster. With Peak at Backup, you can select the backup that you would like to recover, enter a name, and click Peak. This creates a new standalone Postgres load with this particular backup, which like any other normal Postgres load, is unrelated to your production instance. So once it's up and running, you can access it, download the data you want, and then throw it away. Another scenario where this is useful is for testing. A lot of our customers use Peak at Backup to create a copy of their production data, and they can test this production data with a new version of their app. The last operation we're going to talk about is deleting backups. This is useful for on-demand backups you no longer want to keep around. Simply click Delete Backups from the Backup drop-down menu, select the backup you'd like to delete, and click Delete. That's it for our Postgres backup and restore options. As always, if you have any questions, please email us at support at scalegrid.io.